Hey guys, finally I'm doing the GC deck profile. So this has been a long waited deck profile and uh honestly I've been playing I've been play testing it a lot over the past two months and also because the this set is dropping in English soon. So I figured uh, it'd be a good time as any to do it right now. So Chrono Dread Chrono Dread for starters. So the only great tree you'll be playing is the four copies of Chrono Jet Dragon. Of course, um, as with any Geocron deck, so you basically uh, ride the Great Tree or you, you lose. That's just how it goes in Geocrons. And for the Shrides, two copies of Metallica Phoenix. Um, I've been playtesting it with one since the very start because you have to play Phoenix in the cases where you're going first. Uh, next stage isn't gonna work because it can't write down, it requires your opponent to be on grade 3 or greater, so you always go Phoenix for the triple drive, which is awesome. And uh, too many times, I draw the Phoenix early. So it's like, what what do you do if you draw the Phoenix early? It's like, you kind of like, GG, right? So I found much success after swapping it to 2, like increasing it. So the boy, next stage, really awesome card. So it makes you uh, 4 attack, force plan. So. That's just what it takes to do well in the meta right now. If you're a force clan, you have you gotta have multi-attacks. If not, it's just not worth playing. Competitive wise at least. So three copies of Nabu. Nabu is really good. It gives you the additional soul and uh, the guard restrict. The guard restrict is just an additional bonus, I feel. It's more about the soul and the draw, so it gets you that one card back. And the soul is really important because um, you you do use that two soul for quickie to plus one. So this deck actually pluses quite a lot which is really what I like and uh, yeah, it gives you the additional soul so you can spam Smoke Gear Dragon without hesitation so the new card Smoke Gear Dragon probably seen him really good combos with uh, Jet really well um, so this during his effect is a VNR when he attacks a Vanguard plus 5 so it's basically 15k free attacking the Vanguard and uh, second skill is this a rear guard skill during this turn if you roll a great 4, you just so blast 1, draw 1. Like, how free is that? And another skill is when your Vanguard is uh, Chrono Jet Dragon, you any card you discarded can be discarded as a great 3. So, it makes... It, it just You just ditch anything as a great 3. So, you don't really care about anything. Any, everything in your hand is a strike fodder. And it combos really well with Memony as well. As you can see from the fight videos. And then, for the last great 2 I'm playing, it's uh, Steam Scarab e Um This card is just so good. I love this card. Um, additional drive is really underrated, like seriously, drive checks, your hand is stuck with grade 4 early, you ditch them, get additional drive, works on VNR, stackable so you can get many drives, and then there's the other skill which many people forget as well, this guy can be discarded as a grade 3 as well, so if you do not have Steam Scarab Icarp, uh, oh, sorry, you do not have Smoke Gear Dragon on field, you can just ditch this and uh, call as a grade 3, discard him as strike order, really good, I've seen people playing Stroboscope Dragon in the jet build, but um, I still prefer running him because Stroboscope Dragon requires your opponent, uh, your Vanguard to be on great 4, so to draw a card. So the Stroboscope has to swing first. And because I mainly only play Force 2 when playing this deck, swinging with a rear guard first when you're on great 4 is kind of weak. I don't really like that. So, yep. And for the great ones, we are playing Steam Breath Dragon. You have to play this because. Um, it just increases the odds of finding your Chrono Jet Dragon by a lot. It really helps a lot. And his skill um, to get the 5k for all the generic great tree searcher is really good. You just ditch a card continuous. If you discard a card this turn, get 5k. Like, it basically can trigger its own skill because if you find a great tree, you drop a card. Like, so good. And uh, for Chrono 2 is a necessity as well. You have got to play this card. This card just pluses you so much. This is like one of the best rides early. Great one, you ride this. Then at the start of your turn two, you just draw a card. Like how free is that? Dish this card, Carno Blast one. You draw one. Many people forget that this guy's skill is um, you draw one first, then you choose where to place it in rest. So really good. It's expensive, but yeah, it's just really good. Next, we've got two copies of Memene. Memene is... Uh, I love it because I'm playing Force 2 and it really helps to boost up the numbers as well. So, and another thing which people do not know is that 
Uh, I mean, I use it. If your hand is really bad, you're clogged with great force. Usually, it's kind of a go next game, right? But um, you can kind of try to salvage that hand by calling this early. And every turn on your right, you just try to ditch the great force and try to dig for something better. So it really fixes hand. Otherwise, it combos really well with Smoke Gear Dragon to get that really potent finish on the Chrono Jet Dragon right down. Otherwise, you can also use it to boost uh, Metallica Phoenix on next stage. So there are many ways to where you can use Memini. I feel like it's a really flexible card and really offers a lot. The 5k boost times 3 is just so much value. And uh, 2 quickies. I used to run 3 Memini but I realized quickie is really important as well. So 2 copies of quickie. Quickie really fixes your drop or your hand. So if your hand is clocked, you drop those great falls, you send them back, so plus 2 draw 1. So this takes two soul, and yeah, it's, it's kind of costly, but that's why you play Nabu as well, to help with the soul replenishment, and uh, send back the Great Force so you don't run out of strikes, but um, really, games end on turn 4, like, no games go past turn 4, unless someone's like healing a lot, so yeah. So trigger-wise, we are playing the 4 heal, of course. Um, we are playing 7 crits, so 7 crits and 5 draws, so uh, the additional draw comes in really handy. I want to dig for my pieces and uh, it really helps to find that jet, like increases probability of finding a jet. And also this deck discards a lot, so if you manage to check draw trigger and then you discard this, because there are, there are many ways to discard cards, you can discard this for additional drive with ear cup, you can discard this with memory, you can discard this with small gear, just so many ways to disc discard cards and uh, that's, that's why playing the additional draw is good so um, this deck is really good I guess but you, you have to write jet and it's quite combo piece reliant as well so you basically have to get your smoke gear dragons and your hand must not be clocked with great force otherwise this is a really solid deck but it's just a bit costly with this card and steam scare your cup Otherwise, I really have had a lot of fun playing this deck. So, hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.